Welcome to the first episode of the new series where we're going to be renovating this 1930s end of terrace. Let me show you around inside. This is the existing house. This is the front door here. We're coming through, we're actually blocking this doorway off. We're going to be forming uh, double sliding doors here. Then you come through, we're knocking all this back part. It's going to be gone. And we're going to be opening up by putting a steel across here, over to here. And then we're going to be doing a large extension that follows this shape down to around here and works its way back. Similar to this corner here, I'll show you now. That's the existing, and this is the plan. Front door, you're coming in, that doorway is blocked off. You have a toilet under the stairs, utility room. It's still kind of up for debate how that, those two rooms work. You can go around through your double doors, and then this is where the steel's supporting the back of the house, and all this will be the new extension following the shape of the, the party wall. This is the 3D image of the kitchen and living space. And if you come back to the plan, if you were stood directly here, looking this way, right underneath this roof window is where it's from. We're gonna be knocking all this old extension. So when we are cutting the bits of metal in the reinforced concrete, just using a four inch grinder, the sparks started in ember 
on this uh, chipboard. And I've just left it now to see what would happen. And it would just keep burning. If it was up there in the roof, could burn the house down. We're working away on this mass concrete uh, extension. And next we're gonna be taking down this garden shed. Not sure exactly what it's built from just yet. Hopefully not concrete. Run, let go of it. So we're still working on breaking out this old extension that was all poured concrete. It's given us quite a uh, difficult job. Once we get this down to ground level, we're gonna bring in a digger and dumper and start bringing all this back out the front to get it taken away, which is also challenging. It has to make its way down here. Obviously we'll clear all this away. But we've got to get through this little gap. Which is right on the neighboring property. We don't want to damage that fence. Then we gotta get it out the front. And once we get rid of all this rubbish, we'll start stockpiling our uh, rubble here. Which then also gives a tricky job for the uh, grab truck driver along this little pathway. As you can see, there's very limited access on this house, so tune in next time to see how we get on. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to follow along in the series of the full restoration and extension of this 1930s end of terrace. See you next time.